Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Mark Hamill here. Whoa! Look who's here, young people! I tweeted to Rocksteady saying that they should avoid giving IGN first dibs on showcasing their gameplay because they wouldn't want a Redfall situation, you know what I mean? But why do we tell ourselves so many jokes? They're already in that situation. But as I remind them, if the Marvel's Avengers game by Crystal Dynamics taught us anything... The Avengers! <laughs> Avengers! 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 Marvel's Avengers! Marvel's Avengers! Suicide Squad, you're Avengers! It's that things can always get worse. And do you know what the Marvel's Avengers developers were notoriously good at that you're showing us right now that you're pretty good at too? Here's a hint. It's silence, of course. <laughs> Your third delay? What's it taking you a while? You've done this twice before. Just figure out how you delayed it last time. Copy and paste the words into an AI to create synonyms if you don't want it to seem like yeah, it's man. fucking Groundhog Day and delay your game. And as a solid word of advice, whoever's in your studio with her ugly fat ass looking at Harley Quinn going, Nah, son, she need to be uglier, son, because I don't like that. I don't like that. That's competition. These girls got it all given to them, uh -huh. and they don't know what it's uh -huh. like to struggle. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, bitch. Will degenerates like you be playing Sushi Squad Umaru-chan? The answer is no, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, you hear me? It's crazy. You know, over a year ago, they told me the game was coming out in 2022. And then in 2022, they told me the game was coming out in 2023. And now we're in 2023, you tell me the game is coming out in 2024. That's crazy. The real question, of course, I'm not joking, is if they're going to take the time to make Harley Quinn an attractive woman instead of lowering the bar in favor of skirt and wig wearing gentlemen. That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? Yeah, I'm saying. Maybe they'll take the time to double down and race swap all the characters to suit that modern audience. That'll make it more appealing to the types of people that you think are buying these games as opposed to the types of people who are. If sexy is too much for escape entertainment, you're demanding not just money one time, but money multiple times for, and you're accusing me of being hypercritical and specific as it pertains to gender and race issues when y'all the niggas that can't stop talking about how there's too much men or white people or not enough of this, like fuck yourself, man. You guys are the types that I've learned this from and I think that your cringe should be weaponized back at you. Man goes to a whorehouse, he's only got two dollars. They say, well, go up to the room there, we have a dead hooker. Again, I know this isn't the first time that you've delayed the game and you've become exceedingly efficient at it, rock steady, but it should be clear. You cannot conceal how people feel about your lack of appeal. Of course they'll make their voices heard. And if anybody watches my long live streams where I bitch in hyper specific ways, shouldn't I have a gun out? Wouldn't that be cool? It won't load the gun. What the fuck? They are forced to communicate. They are forced to make changes. They update with enhancements that make the experience better over time. You've heard me bitching about the map size. They unvaulted vehicles and put rails in different places. You've heard me tripping about certain weapons. They have been nerfed so that the meta isn't dominating fun. You've heard me tripping specifically about the storm circle taking too long, but now it comes down based on players. You look at fucking Call of Duty, they got furry, skins even in there dude because they appeal just like an attractive woman does but if hot man okay but hot woman not okay this isn't the property for you and whoever you remaining and new people are behind what used to be rocksteady i'm afraid you can only win people's favor by proving that you're willing to listen
It's a different time now. Nine years different, in fact. If you think, listener, that it's the same Rocksteady that was there nine years ago, something's wrong with you. OG Rocksteady gone. Anyone telling you that this delay won't be enough time to make any significant changes is wrong. Look at the screen. Always online, Battle Pass, floaty gameplay, grindy looter, Marvel's Avengers. Nine months, that's how long this game's been delayed for, uh, until it's next delay, or uh, it actually comes out. Nine months. It's plenty of time for them to make changes so that Kevin Conroy's last in-game Batman performance is something people can experience in an offline environment. Nine months is plenty of time to establish that their battle pass will have zero FOMO or genuinely be cosmetic only, as opposed to just, you know, the promise that it will be. Don't put resources or boosters or time savers for money in any forward loot boxes and promise that. You need to establish attractive skins if you're selling cosmetics which means that they need to appeal as much as the Bat Family did nine years ago in Arkham Knight. And if you can't do that, close up shop on begging people for money out of skins. You'll be another Marvel's Avengers where you can't keep it afloat. Free games, understand, sex appeal, popular IPs, and they're bringing more than just the look of the character. You don't wanna compete with these experiences and to think that you're not, that's the foolishness. Nine months is enough to make changes to the combat so it at least looks like melee has weight and connects in more ways than just takedown animations. Fortnite is a free game and I'm not, I'm not gonna get into it. You know, going all the way back to some of the Marvel crossover events where they bring these explosive abilities and means of traversal that cycle through the damn game faster than people for be able to remember them all. You can't do worse in the same engine. We already saw that in Gotham Knights. Nine months is enough time to mitigate some of the deliberately excessive aspects of the looter designed to waste people's time and slow down their progression just for the sake of making them, you know, play the game longer, man. Throw these niggas a bone. You can take a little bit of that time off. And last but not least, Nine months is enough time for you to study Marvel's Avengers and, and make sure you don't fail the same way that they did. If you don't know history, you're doomed to repeat it. Nine months is enough time for Sushi Squad to cook. You can't polish a turd, but Sushi Squad only looks like a turd. There's probably something in there that's not just a not just a piece of corn, that's that's gold in there. That's there's gold in that dare poop. This game can be something. But it has to appeal. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for listening. Appreciate you, love you. Leave a like, get this to 300 likes and I'll make another Sushi Squad video, but I'll be frank, I am fascinated at this point about how many different ways they can resist what so obviously works because the blueprints are laid out in these other games um and then expect you know and i don't is it going to turn into another saints row where we are the, the gamer is wrong you know what i mean because we're bigots you know what i'm saying it's, it can't be that it can't be that ghostbusters was bad it, it's just that we're sexist you know and <laughs> Uh, I can't wait. Love you. Later. How was that? He goes, it was great. The only problem was her nose kept running. And he goes, ah, she's probably full. <laughs>